Alright, my country people, on a good evening and welcome to another edition of We Can Get Program on Masking the Truth for Omalicha 91.1 FM Uwere. The station will be the voice for development. My name is Narita Chikwe. And on top of today's program, we're going to talk about how we could take stop things where they encourage rape. Rape is a serious matter for the country, Niger. And not something we don't come sleep for the eye. For today's episode, we will look at the principles we fit guide us on how we fit provide safe and ethical care for people who survive rape. We go also talk about the opportunities and challenges in preventing violence against women and girls. We go also talk about how the environment they help reduce the risk for abuse. And also how open communication or talk about sex education and boundaries with children fits help to prevent sexual abuse. Mina why? We go take a short break. When we come back, we go much enter the discussion proper proper with the calm. All right, so welcome back on top of the program. So read on carry I'm say eleven thousand and two hundred women and girls from Yobodo, Niger, that then be victims of sexual assault from between twenty 2020 twenty and twenty thirty. This now according to the report where United Nations release. Person will be rapist fit to rape anybody, no matter the person age or how the person take dress. For the last episode, we talk say person will be rapist, no be stranger. Now, person where you and me know, if it be our brother, if it be uncle, if it be our papa, if it be family friend, person where they work for the same place with us, or we neighbor. Today, we go talk about how if it stop all the several things where they encourage rape. Unmasking the truth, now one initiative of St. Ivy's Communications, where they partner with Voice of Women, with the support of the Mark Auto Foundation. We don't talk with women for your community on how we fix stop things where they encourage rape. I beg, here waiting them get to talk for the matter. Okay, what thing they supposed to do uh, to make sure say rape and this rape is something where would they hear every day? Eh? They, um, to to, to curtail them. Now say, people where do this rape, where do they call this rapist? Eh? They suppose they bring them come out, may everybody know, know them. Because today in our society, we don't they see rape as normal thing. On to say, people where they rape, no, they even won't talk again. You go the back person, say they rape you, go talk, go report the person where rape you to police or to authorities and civil societies and everything. They go say, leave that thing, what thing they go do? I don't blame them, Sha, because some of them believe, say, if we even talk, what thing will be the solution? What thing these people go do? The ones where don't talk, what thing they do? You understand? Sometimes people they talk, but no action. They know they take any action. And if they make them feel bad, they go say, what is the essence of talking? Just the way some people, you go, something go happen, you go tell them, say, they go tell police, they go say, what thing police go do? Maybe if person give the, if they give them money, now they go allow the person may, may go. Now the same thing, where would they see for this rape case something? Girls, where did they molest? Girls, where did they rape? To the essence, where did they even do minors? Their parents, they even fear to even go report. They go tell you, say, leave the person, may be between the person and God. Now, this, now the case, where would they see now? They go tell you, say, may be between this person and God. No, wahala. Ma, carry my picking, they go like that. Because they don't, they believe, say, government don't feel them. They believe, say, uh, the security agencies don't feel them. They don't go do anything. Say, if these people, they even go report them. If they give money, they go allow them, maybe they go. You understand? So, if they make people know they report again. So, anything where concern rape, to you know, they effective, if they are government hand. Like, seriously, they government hand, if they security people hand. Because if they bring people come, we now show them, say, this thing when they report, when they take them serious, they will not they take them. And we go make sure, say, justice prevail. You go see, say, every rape case, go they, they, go, they, go, they report them. If you check, you go see, say, most of the rape cases where we, they see, eh, no be even half of them that they report. The ones where they hear, and the ones where, now, 1% of the 20% where they happen, now, in with the year. So, my own be, say, if government take action where, where, if government they do what they suppose they do, security people they do what they they're supposed they do, people go they report rape case because they believe say justice go prevail. Now it's now I won't talk with that. People we survive sexual abuse and rape no day at fault. Anybody we survive them, it gets how in they react to sexual violence 
where fit affect their daily activities. It gets people where they feel guilty. It gets some people where they feel shame. Some of them go they blame themselves. Some fit they fear. They feel sad. And it gets some way just one day on their own. They no one relates with anybody. It still gets some way fit they get bad dreams. They remember what they pass through. Some go they depressed. It gets some way they find them difficult to concentrate. They fit they lose control. They feel angry. Confused. Some they get low self-esteem and anxiety. Make you not forget, say, we not suppose blind person will be victim of rape because he not get any excuse for sexual assault. For today episode, where we they talk about how we fit stop things with the encourage rape, I get better guests for inside the studio who go troop mouth for the matter. My guest now Sylvia Osuji. Good evening to you and welcome to the program. Okay, good evening. How are you, Rita? Good to be here. On top of the matter, what would they discuss? Do you not say that rape matter and a serious issue for we Obodo Niger? What do you think be the principles we fit guide us on how we fit provide safe and ethical care for people who survive HGBV? Okay, thank you. Uh, the first thing we were supposed to do concerning this uh, issue, where would they talk now? Now to stop the stereotype. Because now be the first thing I think now, now they make people know they won't talk, now they make people where they rape, where they talk. People who society they look at they look them with one eye, you understand. Uh, girl child where they rape, if you come off for road, you go see if fellow girl child they talk, they say this one not be that way they rape. Maybe I don't follow and come out too, who knows? Uh, whether now waiting they do for their family, they pursue them or something like that, you understand? So they stereotype pain. If there is a way they can stop, now I'm not say limit, they can stop it entirely. Many people not stereotype them. I like, uh, for where I've been, they live before. You get one girl where they raped, she and her sisters. It was actually an unfortunate thing. They got raped. And then, could you imagine that some people in the streets, if they won't call the girl name, what they going to use with her? That one where they raped, she and her sister now. You don't forget, that girl where they raped, she and her sister. Just imagine. So now, these kind of things, they make people where they rape, they know they won't talk. So one thing where society go do now to stop the stereotype, no go seg- uh, segregate them, no go de- treat them like outcasts, you know good. So if they can stop it, I think this is one way to go to stop um, rape matter and all of that. So what do you think say be the opportunities and challenges in preventing violence against women and girls. Okay, uh, they ask uh, what are the opportunities and challenges in preventing violence against uh, women and girls. First thing I will let you know, we say violence. You know, say violence, uh, it negatively affects women generally. Violence it negatively affects women. If you see women waiting there for abusive marriage, if you see women waiting there for abusive or toxic relationship, if they show for their body, you go know. From the way that they talk, the way that they act, the way situations go come, how do they handle them? You will not say, ah, this one, I will like say, in the go-to trauma or in no shame mentally balanced like that. So these are the challenges because it go make her, you know, go they effective for anything where she they do. If not for her workplace, so if for her community, or even for the country at large, women will get, uh, whether they abuse uh, sexually or other way, will get violence, you understand? You go no say society no go better because everything go they irritate them. They no go and now why you go comes you go come be like say people where they advocate say men they know they use men do anything come plenty pass people where think say men are something because some of them where they advocate for this thing if you look them where 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 you go see say some of them don't go through some of these things where would they talk you understand they go make them say I beg what you want use this one do not be this one where I tried the other time see as him puts me they can't rape me for inside them you understand. So it they affect them negatively. Then he suppose uh, it's supposed for greater strength on healthcare to legal expenses and you know what they suppose they do be say any girl way uh, undergo rape or where they rape, eh? One thing what they go do be say make government take the cost of taking care of that person. You understand? Make government take because sometimes they go say maybe now go hospital, some of them they go rape them, they go carry belly and they go they bond that picking. Life go con they miserable for them. But if government go to take care of any person where they rape, or when they go to uh, primary health care center, or when they do this and do that one, we go take care of everything. They go go clean them, they go they okay. You understand? Other things where they come out from the rape, this thing, no go fee come out like belay and the rest of it. Alright, so my Kajat countryman, 
Unmasking the truth for your number one voice for development radio station, Omalicha, 91.1 FM Oweri. They address how we fit stop things with encourage rape. This program now initiative or idea of St. Ivy's Communications, where they partner with Voice of Women, where they can get support of the MacArthur Foundation. Remember, say environment where they safe, fit help reduce the risk for abuse. Statistics don't show say more than 80% of sexual abuse cases happen for places where people know they or even one on one situation. I beg, make we enter street again and get more comments from other women. Everything we say, uh, anybody with a rape, no people come out, come to say the raper because the society would they quick to judge, they will ask, say, what do you they do? They will, what do you wear? Where do you they go? What do you, what do they go to that side by that time? So, all this thing they make the the rep you know if you talk what you happen and you know good even to the extent that even even sometimes even the rep victim parents papa and mama not even believe her even if they believe her they go on they know what you people want to what you what you people want to talk they don't even care about the the webbing of their their picking the middle of their picking even for 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 workplace sometimes yes, even if you don't wish even if you don't wish rape anything if it happen even if it's like sexual harassment some people some people go there uncomfortable with that kind of thing but they don't go fit to talk because if you talk nothing go happen nothing they will do even once come to words they will say oh yeah yeah oh, it's all you don't do and sometimes you can make the girl the person come be like say it's a lie so reputation especially when it comes to women people are quick to blame the the woman and that's in the first thing if you don't just say the red girl the first thing you gonna say where when what did they do there which kind of clothes you wear all these kind is no good. It they affect the mental health of the rape victim. I know if you come and come talk with the apple, and then tomorrow you come to talk say uh, we get me- mentally mentally unstable people for society. Now the society cause those kind of things because we are quick to judge the people. If you want make uh, the society they comfortable for uh, rape victims and um, victims of uh, se- se- sexual assaults, give them the platform to express themselves. Let there be a form of uh, rehabilitation. What do you say? Uh, as they don't talk, the thing happen. You investigate the matter. If if, if not true, you know how you go take drugs and follow up. Maybe it's not like therapy or anything. Follow up. So maybe you know say it deal proceed deal with her. Not be so sure. say you go talk finish. You can't be like say it they lie. You can't uh, ask and say you can't they try find fault for your hands. Now you be the victim, but you try draw and like say nine fault in the first place. So all this kind of thing, you know, you know good. Now you be the thing we me want to talk like this so. Okay, back to the question where they ask on top of the matter. Remember, we they talk about rape and how we fit stop things with encourage them. How open communication or talk about sex education and boundaries with children fit help to prevent sexual abuse. It go help well well. You get open communication and sex education go help well well. Because some people whether they rape, eh, sometimes when you hear their story, now why sometimes they have some people to talk about their rape story? Because when you hear them, you go tell and say, you self, why you go do something like that? You understand? You go, you go, they, you go, they, I don't know how to put them, but you go, they blame the person, say, now nah, you cause this thing. Why? Because some of them, they're ignorant. You go see picking of um, 13 years, minus uh, 12 years, 10 years. They go take person as their uncle, you get. The uncle go tell and say, Mary, come, come help me go buy something. Because they don't give them sex education, they don't tell them these things. They go say, ah, now nah, my uncle tell me, say, I go buy something now. Nah. You go buy the something, the uncle they outside though, send you a message. But as you come back, he go enter inside. They tell you, say, maybe they bring and come inside. You go tell the uncle, come collect your thing. They go say, no, now nah, maybe you come inside. Say, he leg, they pin him. He, he, he hand, they pin him. Something like that. Because say, you don't know these kind of things. They never teach you. Never they educated. You understand? You don't get knowledge of this kind of thing. You go say, Abby, and nah, my uncle, now nah, no be person where they live for a compound. You go enter inside. And if you enter inside, now we are Matafi end. You go there, wait till we go here again. Now, story where they touch the heart. You understand? And then some picking when when they no get a uh, person where they go feel follow talk, it they, they also affect. You get children where their parents they strict, their mother their mother they strict, their sisters everybody just they strict, nobody to talk to. But if there's open communication whereby picking if you can't tell you say you don't create that relationship with your picking, maybe say anytime where anything happen, your f- picking if you can't tell you say mommy you see what happened today oh, you get. If you tell them, say, this is what this guy they do, I don't like him. The first they don't tell me, say, tell you, say, you come inside your house. Today again, they, uh, no go again. If he send you a message, no go. If he, if he force you, tell him, say, your mother, say, no, you no go. 
You understand? Because there is communication. The mother knows what's going on in the life of the of the child, of the girl child. But if parents don't know sometimes, or because there is no open communication, you understand? People will fall prey. You get people where they're not legible about these things. You be girl, you there for university. You won't come out. You tell your friends, say that boy say my come go tell say they come make, make go in house. Girl, open eye yo. This kind of thing they happen no. If you say eh, my man no even dead deal and no even think say the guy go feed do something like that. But because they don't communicate, the person go come put sense, give you for head. You go be like ah not true. I beg man no go. Last class, if you go hear a story about the boy, you go no say God save you from that particular thing. And how God can't save you? Because say you talk, give person. As you say, you know talk. Wahala for day. So he, he good. Open communication and sex education is very good when it comes to um, rape matters. Which role you think say with society they play to encourage rape culture and how we fit reject them to support the survivors? The role where society they play in this um, blame game you get. People they always judge people where they be uh, rape victims. Just like we they talk, nobody today will start to talk and we go here. Yeah, what did she wear go to the boy house? Why she even go to the boy house? As she go to the boy house, why she go sleep? Why she chop for dear? Why this one? Why that one? You understand? They never want to tackle the matter. They can't say they rape person. Follow the matter up, investigate, find out what thing happened. No what thing you supposed to do, but you go be like, I beg, leave and I wait till she wants. Nobody that girl where they wear short short skates, they work everywhere. And, and I wait till she wants, they don't give her now. Sometimes when you sit close to people that are talking about these rape victim things, eh? People where they rape, they, people where they talk about them. You go on and say, which kind of human being? How many set of people God create for this life where we even did? Because some of them, they are, the words where they come out from their mouth, they're so, so irritating. They go just they blame the girl, they blame the girl, they blame the girl. They go tell you, say, she tell you, say, she don't like him. Go ask her, you go say, say, she like him, now it's she wants. You know, those kind of things. So in society, go stop the blame game. When they talk, say, person, rape, person. Men not gonna be said the girl go chop up the blame. Now, now she why she go to the boy house. Even some parents, funny enough, some parents where their children, their girl child now rape victim. They go to blame their daughter. Picking fit tell you say she they come back from school. Maybe they finish lecture, she go go for night class. She they come back. Now in they come attack her, come rape her. What you go here be say why you go night class? Who send you where you go night class? You know feel it for day. You get these things are things that that happen. They happen, but all the blame go be for the girl. They not go even want me. They know how they want help the girl matter. Go find who the guy be. How they go discipline the guy. How they go punish him and everything. Now why, 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 why? Now so now why people know they talk again? Anybody where they really go, they can say now so their life they come out. May they carry on like that. They go. Another question where we get on top of the matter we say how we fit work together. To stop things where they encourage rape and violence against women and girls. So what we supposed to do be say uh, it's good to create awareness. Uh, uh, they, they fall into situation sometimes because some people, especially young ones, no know what they, they talk about rape. They no even know say person where they close to them they feel rape them. Some things where people they do to them they no know say these things are a sign of you get. Uh -huh. All these um, advances and everything, if you lead to rape, when person come, they do you like this, no say the matter don't they pass. You understand? May they shift or may you not go close to such person again. Now, some of those things where our mothers and teach us, where help us for life, you get. They go, sometimes they, 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 they feel like say that they give us fear, they put fear for our body. But some of these things help. They go tell you, say, if uncle carry you, can't they touch you anyhow? Come down from that uncle lap. Man, so I'm going to even tell you, man, you know, agree, may uncle carry you. You understand? Once you don't reach 8 years, 10 years, 12 years, no agree, may uncle carry you. If you carry you, can't they touch you anyhow, anyhow. May you do us. Come tell me or come down, shout. You understand? So anybody will get something from mind, will come meet such picking. You're going to say, ah, this one don't be intelligent to when it has to do with uh, sexual matters and everything. Man, no go even put hand, may they no go, uh, wahala, come day, you get? So it's good to sensitize them, even at a very young age, educate them. Let there be awareness from primary school for the girl child to secondary to even the tertiary institution. Because the people for tertiary institutions, they come from village. You get they just get admission, they just enter. So everything when they talk for township, they do them somehow, somehow. You get so it's good to create awareness, sensitizations, and this will go a long way in helping. To talk openly, now one of the can get prevention methods. If they break down barriers and also, reduce stigma. Make with they talk openly with our children about their body parts and boundaries. Make we also teach them say 
them get right to say no. If we do this one, it will help reduce anything we could make them become victim to people where fit violate their boundaries and they fit talk if anybody abuse them. Make everyone for your family know say it they okay to ask questions. It they important for adults to set the tone for everyone by talking about healthy sexual behaviors and also speak up about abuse. May we still hear more voices of women for your community. Okay, so awareness needs to be created. I know there have been awareness going on. There should be constantly, people should be constantly reminded about the effects of rape on people, the effects of this raping on the victim. It shouldn't, the awareness shouldn't be limited to just the female in general, but also the male as well, because the male sometimes are the perpetrators of this act. And also female can also be because male do get raped. So now I'm not talking based on gender. I'm talking in general. So there should be an awareness. There should be an enlightenment concerning rape and its effects on victims, both male and female. And secondly, I would say that um, people, people who are involved in this act should be properly dealt with. They shouldn't they shouldn't just let them go scot-free they should be properly dealt with they should use them as a very huge example for others if we want to stop people where they enable rape regards they show all these rapists extra shiggy that is shiggy promise so if other people come see say the government nigerian government know they support rapists then go re- respect themselves too you understand them to look at the support JP. Well done. Alright, you don't hear them as women don't talk their minds for today's episode. And I want to always salute give we guest Sylvia Osuji. Thank you so much for coming. Don't forget say unmasking the truth, the initiative of St. Ivy's Communications. With a partner with the voice of women, with the support of the MacArthur Foundation. And finally, open talk or communication with children on matter with concerns sex education. Go encourage them to speak up and also report any behavior where they're suspicious. Make you not judge or start to question the victim if it makes them feel uncomfortable. Teach your pekin from young age about how important it is to grieve for any kind interactions including physical touch and personal boundaries. Make we also help with children to understand the warning signs of behavior when not they proper talk, like to they keep secrets, gifts, or special attention from adults. Make we also encourage them to set boundaries and teach them to say no to anything where they make them they uncomfortable. If we trust them and validate their feelings, it will encourage them to speak up if something they wrong. I beg, my countryman, if you get story on how corruption and lack of accountability they affect women for your community, we you would like us to talk about. You fit share your comments through text or WhatsApp us for 0703 0703-175-6537. 0703-175-6537. On masking the truth from the gender lens, now one gang gay initiative of St. Ivy's Communication, in partnership with Voice of Women, with the support of the MacArthur Foundation. All right, so now here we go, March break. On top today episode for Omalicha 91.1 FM Oweri, and the Trouble Salute give the production team of Nafisat Abdulaziz, Taiwo. Adelie, Amanda Mereke, and executive producer Tomu Okewale Shonaya. And you will be weekend listener. My name Narita Chikwe. I don't buy waka. <laughs>